So clearly Steph Curry is number one on the list. 34.3 points, 50% from the floor, 49% from three on nearly 13 attempts per game. What are you seeing from Steph and Curry right now? You know, this is going to be a tough subject for me. Steph Curry is a guy, I admire his talent, but uh, what he's done uh, against LeBron over the years has really paid me. But uh, this is one of the greatest finals performances of all time, mate. <laughs> I can't believe the, how Steph Curry... I mean, people obviously try to downplay how impactful he is. This is supposedly the best defense in the league, and Steph Curry, the shooting splits that he's on, the lack of help that he's getting from his teammates, and how... I think the stat I read is he's accounted for a third of Golden State's points um, through four games against supposedly the league's best defense. So probably the defense that was best matched up for them. Uh, the he's also he's a, you can tell the adjustments that he's made and how much he's grown on the big stage. I remember Curry. We obviously I've watched every Finals game he's ever played against LeBron. He would do these behind the back flick passes or whatever that would always just call a resolving turnover, just completely eliminate that out of his game. You can see the strength that he's added to his um, body and, and just uh, you can see the just the, the, the all-time talent that he is. Yesterday was a masterclass. I, I had to watch it back on replay. I just had to yeah, just keep rewinding a few things. He Obviously, the stress he causes on an NBA uh, defense is quite extraordinary, but the defensive game that he has to him, how much he can, can still compete on the other end, Makes you really question blokes like Harden, blokes like Russell Westbrook. Obviously, it's hard to uh, – sustaining this is going to be difficult, but think about how many double teams he sees regular season, post-season. He still contends on the defensive end there, and it can still be the focal point of an offense. And I think any – I think people are waiting for, a, I guess, a statement game for him in the NBA Finals. Mm-hmm. I think that's solidified that Steph Curry does uh, absolutely show up for the, for the NBA Finals. He is the offense, as I said, when he's got no help from other side. And I'm really seeing his value. Obviously, the Warriors system is incredibly versatile. Draymond Green can play make and um, Steph Curry can initiate. But um, he, he, first of all, he is their number one scoring. He's the only scoring threat at the moment because Clay's shot has been off. Draymond's a negative mm-hmm. on that end. But just seeing how much like Clay and Draymond need and rely on his ability to um, break open the defense... He's absolutely the number one player in the in the finals at the moment. Uh, the finals MVP absolutely has his name on it. To the Golden State Warriors win, and yesterday was just yeah, just a, seeing. We're very lucky to be watching somebody like Steph Curry in his thing. And I think I'll say this to you: when Kevin Durant came to the Warriors, I obviously didn't I didn't like that because it was stacked. But one thing I, one thing that was underrated is how much I missed out on Curry mm. being Curry. Yeah. I think he was, he's, he's so happy to defer to people, and I think he's probably a player that anyone can play with. But we missed out on a couple of years, I reckon, of prime curry. Um, that kind of sucks, because I loved well, He's mesmerizing to watch. So he's absolutely my number one player. I'd imagine he's your number one player. Is there anything that's – like, obviously, you just appreciate his greatness as, a, as an NBA player, but is there anything that's kind of you, – you've just done it, you've been amazed by even more by Steph Curry? Anything that's really sticking out to you at this point? Uh, not particularly, but like when we look at his numbers, the numbers like this happens in the NBA Finals. The superstar players put up big numbers. We saw Giannis drop fifty last season to close out the Phoenix Suns and win the NBA championship. But I will go back to what I've always said all season, and what Steph Curry is defying is throughout NBA history, guys six foot four or below are not the best players on championship That's teams. Right. It is factual. It is not. Yeah. And for this guy. At six foot three, to be dominating games, dominating big NBA Finals games from the perimeter primarily, like he is, it's a first in NBA history. It is flat out like we have never seen this before. We have never seen a six foot three point guard dominate an NBA Finals game from the perimeter like he is in this series. It is a flat out first. So that is the thing that is incredible. The most surprising aspect, and we'll obviously get on to Jason Tatum, but if you asked every single NBA fan in the world who the best player was going into this series, I think over 50% might have said Jason Tatum over Steph. And so for Steph to not only be the best player in the series, but for him to be the best player and daylight second is perhaps the most surprising thing. And it goes down to his greatness and how good he's been. And also 
the slightly disappointing factor of Jason Tatum. Like, 